Last week on the season. But now we focus on Texas to try to figure out what they got and what they run and who's playing that quarterback. Well, it may go down to overtime, maybe two overtime. It may be, we gotta block a field goal to win. You understand what I'm saying? Here we go, let's break it down. Beat Texas on three. One, two, three. Beat Texas. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's still a pleasure to welcome you to Austin, Texas, with a local time. It's approximately 3.40 p.m. Please remain seated with your seatbelt securely fastened. And once again, we do thank Coach Freeze and the entire Ole Miss football team. Have some fun for day, guys. Tonight, from Darrell K. Royal Memorial Stadium, deep in the heart of Texas, it's the Rebels and the Longhorns. Here's Scott. Ole Miss made it look too easy. Fire toward the end zone, left corner, grab by Dante Montgreve. Touchdown, Ole Miss! Bo was just masterful right there. He read it perfectly. 3-0 this year, man. Rebel Nation, we come, baby. 3-0 on the watch. I'm telling you. Monday press conference. The attention turns to number one, Alabama. Uh, excited to uh, have last week off. I thought it was uh, very uh, critical for us to get some kids healthy uh, heading into this stretch of games in particular. It's, uh, it's a brutal stretch. We talked about that at the beginning and uh, it doesn't get any more difficult than to, to go over to, uh, to Alabama and play on a Saturday night. So that, that's the way we'll kick it off and then three other tough ones to follow it. So uh, I think the open week came at a, at a good time to get everyone healthy. I uh, feel like we're, we're right on track with, with having uh, everyone that's available to play uh, very close to being ready to, to go full speed. So excited about that. We'll need everybody uh, over the course of the next few weeks to be able to, to compete at a high level. It's a tall task. Um, I know that uh, Coach Saban and his staff will have his guys ready to go and. Uh, they always uh, seem to do what it takes to to get the job done, and uh, they'll, they'll be ready. And I think ours will too. And I look forward to this uh, to this challenge. All right, thanks, guys. Later. Thank you, guys. Pascagoula, Mississippi, hometown of Sinquez Golson. We on the coast, the bottom. I don't think you can go no farther down in Mississippi. Right there by the beach, by uh, I guess the famous Biloxi. I don't know if we got a lot of history in Pasadena, right? um, but you know I've been staying there, you know, going to school there most of all my life. I started Sinquez out playing t-ball at four, and um, progressed all the way up until we went to a lot of couple World Series, and he kept going and kept going. Play football. I had one year. I had like the month of. July in the summer where I was just strictly football. You know, during June I was playing like summer baseball with my high school. So like month of July, I get ready for football. And football season roll around, then it's like the day the football ends, they send me over to baseball. So it was just like, you know, a constant thing. You know, I um, never really had an off season before. You know, I was always in season. Used to have about 15, 20 scouts at every baseball game and Got drafted by Boston Red Sox in the eighth, eighth round. I was just like speechless. I ain't know really, you know, what, what to say. I was like, man, you know, I, I really want to go to Ole Miss. You know, this is a life-changing experience right here if I sign with baseball. I was just so confused. They caught me at the right time. They, they called me around about two days. And they was just like, you know, we want to get you out here. And let's, you know, I guess try to make a deal before the deadline date. He had to sign the deal by 12 o'clock that night. He didn't sign it. He got on the plane and came home. Don't nobody know the exact amount, you know, that they offered me with me in Boston. You know, my parents don't even really know. When it all came down to it, it was not my decision. It was Sinquia's decision. And he told me, he looked me in my eyes and said, Daddy, I want to go to school. I haven't played baseball in so long now, but I think, well, I know I can just pick up a bat and just go, you know, like I've been playing every day. It just comes natural to me. 
And that's why I always tell people, I just be like, I'm, I think I know I'm a baseball player, you know, just playing football. Here's where the storm is. It is 100 miles off the coast of Key West, heading west, southwest, into the very warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico. It is forecast. Katrina was uh, kind of crazy. We got a lot of fl flooding. Hurricane Katrina was tough for us. I mean, it was tough for us to get gas, water, ice. We had to go almost to Pensacola to get gas. I mean, it was tough. It was tough. If you didn't have gas, you would be in trouble. I was I was probably like the fastest person in my neighborhood and uh, every day at a certain time we get these military hel helicopters who come drop off uh, bags of ice at the local park. They was in them helicopters throwing ice out the bag. I mean it was tough. It was tough. It was tough. You got people trying to drive their cars. They bagged up and it's just a race. You know so I took off. Boom. I used to make sure my family had two three bags of ice every day. Food was hard to come by. It's the toughest times I think we ever been through. It looks a lot different now than it used to, you know, I would say, but um, people still build stuff down there and trying to, you know, get it back in order, but I don't think, you know, it'll never be the same. Facing a balanced offensive attack, cornerbacks coach Jason Jones prepares his players. One of the big routes they like out of this, they like the, uh, they love to smash. So he'll line up, sometimes he'll do that, and then you'll get this. Only time we'll check it now is when it's condensed splits. So we get a condensed split, all right, you gotta be ready to crack your pads, all right? If it's outside run, you the force, you gotta come, all right? Everybody good on that. Be alert today for your key calls. Anybody have any questions on any of that? A lot of that is a review for us, all right? Everybody good? Let's look at a little bit of practice from another day. All right, now, everybody look at this formation. The splits of the wide receivers, they tell you something. You see that cut split? So if I get a cut split, all right, you want to line up outside leverage of this guy. What do we say? He's outside, so it's been at about 10, 10 to 12. So push to the middle of the field, get to 10 to 12. Wide outs, once they, they uh, break their route off, they see him scrambling, they're going to turn and run. A lot of times he'll direct them. He'll be pointing, tell them to run deep. All right, this is what I'm saying. Watch your quarterback right here. Everybody's covered. Watch, they see him scrambling, they start running. See how he start pointing? Got to lock on to your wide out. Be disciplined, control your eyes, do your job. Communicate, get everybody on the same page, all right? Help each other out, help each other out. We have any questions on anything that's going in? All right, hey, this is what we have. You got about 13 minutes, get your stuff on, get out there in the indoor. We're going to work some of these stack alignments and adjust to some of the routes with the, uh, with the Huskies, you got me? Hey, we don't need to have a good day today, we need to have a great day. All right, communicate, talk, ball in the air, go attack. Everybody got me? All right, hurry up. Loosen up, loosen up. There you go. Big lead. Turn right. Turn right. Tom Don't waste your teammates' time today. You be accountable to your teammate for every ounce of time, every second you're out here. It's a short practice like always. Fly around, get great work in with great attitude and great effort. Okay, Rebels on three. One, two, three. As soon as contact is made, as soon as he make contact, boom, you go. You go. Hey, hammer, hammer, hammer. Hammer! Now go, 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 go. That's what we want. Catch it. Hey, 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 yo. All right, hey, what does this tell you? What are you thinking, DJ? All right, here we go. <laughs> drive on it, drive on it. Oh, catch it, catch it. Hey, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. Focus and confidence all week, baby. Kamikaze's on three. One, two, three, Kamikaze. Jog it up. Jog it up.
big stage a couple of weeks ago at Texas, but it doesn't get any bigger than playing on the road against Alabama. Tonight, from Bryant-Denny Stadium, deep in the heart of Dixie, undefeated Ole Miss and Alabama meet for the 61st time. It's the Rebels, the Crimson Tide, and a battle of SEC unbeatens in Tuscaloosa. There's something really unique about a group of young men that decide to be like-minded, that decide to be one, that decide that they will refuse to accept somebody else to define for them what their destiny is. They do not know the heart, they do not know the passion, they do not know the unity that's in this room. It doesn't matter what anybody said all week. It matters what you do for the next 60 minutes. We're going to lock that gate. We're going to lock that gate. And we're going to pick a fight with the big boys. Hey, yeah. hey, will they know you were there when it's over? Bama goes left to right. Ole Miss goes right to left. Let's play football in Tuscaloosa, an SEC West showdown between number one Alabama and number 21 Ole Miss. Well, the Rebels wanted the football first, and so Ole Miss first and 10 at the 25-yard line. Bo Wallace will bring him out. He's had a great start. He's been pretty accurate, but it'll be very important for him to take care of the football. Play action pass over the middle. He's got his man caught by Treadwell at the 50 off of the flexion. He's to the 40 and knocked off his feet at the 35-yard line. Laquan Treadwell and a big gainer for Ole Miss just like that. A 40-yard pick of the saves down at the 37. Wow, what a big first play. Gun formation for Wallace on fourth and one and a half. In motion, Treadwell. Alabama with four across the front, now five. There is the handoff to Treadwell. He sweeps to the right. He dives over the top. It's going to be close. It will depend upon the spot as he was upended by Ha Ha Quentin Nix right at the line to make, and I'm not sure he's got it. I think he'll be a little bit shy. We'll see. Ole Miss goes for it on fourth and yard and a half and will not get it. Missed it by the length of the football, and Alabama will take over. And A.J. McCarron brings his offense out for the first time tonight after Ole Miss was stopped on fourth and short. Third down and long. Back to throw McCarron. Pump fakes one side. Steps now. Fires over the middle. Got his man at the 45-yard line. Wide open is Christian Jones. And off the yield. And off the right side. Finds an opening. He's the 40. To the 35. To the 30. Hit and drop at the 26-yard line. Hand off left to Yeldon. He fumbled it, but he landed on it himself at the 17-yard line. Boy, he got a basketball bounce. This one is on its way from 28 yards and good. And Alabama takes a 3-0 lead with 6.23 to go here in the first quarter. Amidst a sea of crimson, the Landshark defense would make the tide earn every yard. There's the snap. And he's going to hand it off to Yeldon. The Rebels get great penetration, led there by number nine, D.T. Shackleford, who's in the game. The senior from Decatur, Alabama. Fins up, baby. It's a slip screen far side, and a great read and a tackle by the Rebels there at the 16-yard line. It's Mike Hilton, the sophomore out of Georgia. And they're trying to see what we're going to do. So settle down and play a region key, right? to throw. Wallace in trouble. Fires got his man wide open. Moncrief left alone at the 45. Hits to the sidelines of the 40. Knocked off his feet at the 36. How do you lose Dante Moncrief? Wallace saw him under duress and got that throw out of there for a huge first down. At the 37 first down, it's Treadwell. He throws, intercepted. It's like handed to Treadwell. He tried to throw to the sideline and he tried to hit Moncrief down the sidelines, and Jackson had fallen underneath the route and gets the interception. Here in under center, toss pitch left to Drake. Drake trying to sweep to the outside, and he is blown up hard at the 37-yard line. Drake got uh, Channing Ward finished it off, but also Trey Elston in there as well. Trey Elston came shot out of a cannon from that safety position. There's the snap back to McCarron. Looks right, comes over the middle to Vogler. Vogler makes the catch at the Ole Miss 45. The ball's out. It's bouncing around, and Alabama recovers it at the 45-yard line. 
Cyrus Kwanja comes up with it there for the Crimson Tide. They got to break another basketball type bounce. So it's going to be a pickup of seven yards. Back to throw McCarron. Fires. Diving effort. It's going to be caught or dropped. They said no. Incomplete at the 36. No, diving he's for catch. No, no, he's, he's now saying catch. Four man front for Ole Miss. He's being chased. Throws over the middle. He's got his man caught there and gobbled up, and the ball comes out again. It's loose on the ground, and Alabama recovers it again. The reception was grabbed there by number 17, Kenyon Drake, and Drake was hit by Hamilton. The ball came flying out again, and again the Rebels couldn't get it. Both were the tight end, saved the day with the recovery. But eventually the ball is going to bounce the Rebel way. There's the snap back and the kick, and it's on its way, and looks like it's going to be good. 53-yard field goal is good. 5.44 to go in the second quarter. Alabama six and Ole Miss nothing. We can't win the game. Not just to compete. We can't win. Win the game. Play that way, baby. Everybody get to the ball. When it pops out, it's hard. While the Alabama defense contained Bo Wallace and company, a stout Rebel defense made it frustrating for the Crimson Tide, keeping them out of the end zone and allowing only three field goals in the first 30 minutes of play. All right, Alabama with the first and 15 now. Passes dumped underneath the Yeldon. He's got some running room to the 30. Leaps over a man and then knocked down at the 29 by Sidarius Bryant. Big plays. They hit the tailback underneath. Try to give the tide a 9 nothing lead at halftime. Foster from 42. Looks like it's going to be perfect. And is. But give Ole Miss credit. They are making the number one team in the country earn every yard and every point. I'm telling you. <laughs> the, Ole Miss gets into Alabama territory twice. They turn it over on downs, yeah. and then they have a turnover. It might be a different story. Right. Both defenses have played great. They've, they've stopped the running game, and they have not allowed a big play in the passing game. Now they have to worry about trying to stop Alabama's opening drive. I always think that the opening drive of the third yeah. quarter sometimes tells you what the ball game's going to go like. Gun formation for McCarron. There's the handoff to Yeldon. Yeldon off the left side. Has it to the 40. Breaks in the clear. He could go. He's to the 40, to the 30, down the sidelines to the 20, to the 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Alabama. David, the Rebels lined up with Mike Mary, the middle linebacker, shaded all the way to the Rebel sideline. Really nobody in the middle. So once he cleared that line of scrimmage, there was nobody but Kobe Pruitt. Yeldon right there breaks the game wide open. Wallace stands in the pocket, fires to Moncrief on a look-in route, caught at midfield, and that's a first down for the Rebels. Fourth and two from the Bama seven right hand. The snap to Wallace, the fake to Mathers. He looks, he fires, batted down by Mosley, intended for Treadwell, and Alabama will take over right there. He's got to get the turnover, Bill. Get the turnover. Quick throw into traffic, intercepted by Ole Miss. Cody Pruitt. And there's the interception or the turnover that Ole Miss has been looking for all night long. Ole Miss has to find a way to get a big play and get some of their playmakers involved. They got one fourth down in this drive. Now they need to pick up another. Do or die time for the Rebels right here. Fourth and ten. Wallace fires. Tipped. Almost caught and incomplete. He does punt it high in the air. Jeff Scott is going to run up and let it hit at the ten. It's going to be batted did they get it stopped before it broke the plane and maybe so rebels from the one they'll snap it and that'll be the end of that Bo Wallace is going to keep it he's hit in the end zone he didn't get out of there or did he they said he got to the half yard oh they call a safety on the other side they're calling a safety on this side the line judge is saying he got out of there Kenyon Drake breaks into the secondary. Drake's to the 40. He's to the 35, the 30. He could go. He's to the 15, the 10, the 5. And he's in the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama. And that will put it on ice. That's it right there. So Bama 24 to nothing with 532 to go. And a big run for Kenyon Drake. And this will be it. This is the victory formation for the Crimson Tide on first and 10 with 28. And a knee taken by Sims, and that will be it. 25 to nothing, Crimson Tide wins here. Ole Miss gets its first loss to fall the three and one. On the year, one and one the SEC with a trip to Auburn, Alabama next weekend, and we'll talk about that in our post-game show as well. 
Hey. Here's the, here's the. You played with some great effort. It's a total team effort. Special teams did some good things. You know, we just did not play good enough early on. But here, here's, here will be the test for us. There, there's, there's only one loss now. You know, and, and, and it's going to hurt and it stings and we're going to have a long bus ride home and all of that. But, uh, man, it's a long season. You just remember last year. It is a long season and we've got a very difficult stretch of games. So we need great leaders. So tomorrow when we get together and we throw this in the trash, it's in the trash. And we got, got, got to get ready to go on the road again in this conference in a very difficult place to play again. Uh, I promise you that uh, our coaches will work tirelessly to make sure we give you the best opportunity to win. So stick together, leaders lead. Leaders lead. Love you guys, don't want to bring anybody else in this place but you. You young kids that just joined us, remember this feeling. But you're that close, that gap has closed. That gap has closed. And uh, keep doing what we're doing, do the little things correctly. And uh, let's go find a way to get one on the road and then get back home. It's been a long time. <coughs> let's get back. Uh, let's get back home. We got a big one next uh, Saturday. <coughs> so let's get ready. Leaders, lead us. Okay. Yes, love you guys, man. <coughs> Let your love carry you through this. Okay. Yes, Family. One, two, three. Family. Family.